What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I want to talk about uh, accounting, uh, I want to talk about balance sheet, uh, all those big words that used, uh, that are being used in accounting. Um, uh, in the end, I like to keep it simple, VIP Shop Management uh, it's, is designed uh, to keep everything simple, including accounting. Um, a lot of people like always ask us when we get integrated uh, with uh, QuickBooks, and my first uh, reaction, first, I thought QuickBooks uh, has the ability to file taxes for you. And uh, in reality, it does not. A QuickBooks, uh, uh, pretty much, it gives you the balance sheet, uh, meaning that you can add your expenses and it compares it to your net sales and uh, it tells you, you know, how much you're making money. So instead of integrating with QuickBooks, we wanted to do that uh, with VIP and, and that way, not not because to make uh, the, your your uh, um, bookkeeper uh, job easier, which is a will. I mean, remember, you're always gonna need a bookkeeper. Uh, tax is always gonna change. No matter how much you learn, you need to you need somebody who's in the business. So keep that in mind. So I used to use my bookkeeper when I had my shop once a year, uh, but I did everything else, and I always recommend everybody. Uh, to keep track with their expenses, not just making money. Uh, I always hear, uh, uh, when I, I watch Shark Tank a lot, and I always hear Mark Cuban, uh, one of his questions all the time, how do you do your books? And they'll, uh, they'll be, their answer will be, yeah, we, I use Excel sheet. If I'm investing and, I, and somebody and he tells me I'm using Excel sheet, I don't want to invest. And that's why Mark Cuban will never invest in somebody using Excel sheet, meaning it takes forever for you uh, to add your number, which means you really don't know your numbers uh, because it takes so much effort. Anything takes so much effort uh, to you know, to know your numbers. Uh, it's it's not going to happen. You can only do it once and twice, and then you're going to skip three months, and that's a major issue. We need a tool. Uh, there are so many tools uh, out there that makes it a lot easier uh, to calculate your expenses, to, take, to calculate your balance sheet, and to know if you're making money or not. Just because you're selling a million dollar, uh, that doesn't mean that you're making um, money or a lot of money. You know, expenses in the end, uh, profit is the differences between your net sale and your expenses. And if you're not keeping up with your expenses, it's a major issue. <clears throat> I've used my own accounting uh, with VIP. I never shared that feature because I didn't know how uh, to share that feature with everyone else, knowing that everybody has different uh, type of bills. And that finally I came up with a solution today, and I was like, this this been like a long time coming, where a lot of people did ask me, Mark, can you add a way where we can track our expenses? And uh, I did, I always wanted to do it, and it was just, uh, it was just hard to do it, uh, and figure out how to, uh, how to give the ability to VIP shop management uh, to any to add any type of expenses and how to make it easier I could have done it the hard way but I didn't do I didn't want that I want it to be easy in a way that auto populates uh, the expenses and so we did I mean first thing if we go log in right here log in if we log in and go to our daily report and let's say we switch to the monthly report so we already have our net sales right here let's say you know December we already have our net sales, we have our sales tax, we have our parts cost, and uh, you know, our net sales right there, so for, for December is 42,000, uh, that's our net sales, and it says our net profit right here is 21,988, but that's not really our net profit, because there are the other bills, other bills are very important, uh, starting from your rent, your electric bill, your gas bill, all these bills so we need actually to take that number the not profit and uh, minus your other expenses and then you really see your uh, exact uh, profit which is the money that's going to your pocket as a as a shop owner so let me let's check it out let's see what what, what i did for you guys um we have something called balance sheet uh, for the first time ever uh, i hope you guys are gonna i'm sure you guys are gonna love it because you, let me show you how simple is it to use how simple is it to add your expenses and you really don't need Excel sheet no more and you really don't need anybody knows about accounting no more. So let's check it out. We'll click on balance sheet. 
Uh, the first step you need to do, there's a, there's a red button right here that says monthly expenses. You need to add your monthly expenses. What's that mean? What, what is it? What, what do you pay? You need to add the bills that you pay each month, starting from rent or mortgage. If you type in rent, let's say my rent is $3,500. Uh, we'll click add. Uh, let's say electric bill, 195 add. Gas bill, uh, 125 add. So whatever you know, like the fixed bills, uh, go ahead and add them. Um, you, we have so many bills like tools if you have some tools from snap on you're buying some tools how much you pay in a month assuming like 350 add um, if you have a loan short-term loan um, uh, let's say you're paying a thousand dollar a month add uh, sales tax sales tax uh, because sales tax we can we can already calculate that from VIP we're just gonna keep it at zero zero um, click on add uh, uh, parts cost uh, let's say you know how much it costs in new parts again we can get that from VIP just add it as zero um, let's say tires cost same thing zero um, sublet cost Again, we can get that uh, from VIP. Uh, what else we got? Advertisement, advertising. Let's say you're spending five hundred dollars a month. Um, um, what else? What else is there? There's a million bill, uh, cable bill, uh, sixty-nine dollars a month. So, meaning in the end, what I'm trying to say is, you need to add all your bills. The beauty of it, you only add it once. Number one, you can see your total expenses right here right away man i'm paying five thousand seven hundred and thirty nine dollars before i can even do anything so meaning you need to sell literally like around ten thousand uh ten thousand dollars just to break even or seven i think if you were at seventy percent probably eight thousand dollars you need to sell just to break even that's why it's really 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 important uh, to know your expenses because if you know how much you're made how much you're selling and how much your expenses now you really know your numbers which is the number one question in shark tank which is the number one question in any business that anybody is running so after you add all your expenses make sure you don't forget anything but if you did you can always come back and add it um, let's see how that work so assuming I uh, well obviously you're not gonna you cannot do when you click on balance sheet it's gonna bring you to that same month which is January but in this case January it's not done yet so we don't want to add January we want to add the previous month usually that's how you're gonna be doing it adding always the previous month so we're gonna go to the previous month December 2020 uh, uh, if you look on the, on the right side we already have the net sales for uh, December which is was 42,000 um, uh, we need to add our expenses that was the missing uh, part of VIP and if you look there's a big bar right here it says auto populate canned expenses which is gonna take it from the monthly expenses so let's let's check it out let's click on this and just like that it adds your it so pretty much it adds your expenses automatically which is really cool you still can add them of course assuming that you know rent has changed at some point you can do that but let's go back to sales tax um, sales tax still zero if you click on it what happened VIP is gonna pick it up for the for that month automatically so let's check this out if I click on sales tax um, it was 5 1512 just click on update uh, what about parts we can grab that too uh, tires grab that too uh, sublet grab that too so this is this is really fantastic this is the best tool probably ever invented because it's so easy to use. So to check this out. So our net sales was 42,000. Our total expense is 24,000. So we net profit 17,000. So now you know how much you're making money, not just by you know taking your, your parts cost. Um, payroll, you can keep that in mind. You can add payroll too. Um, just say payroll. You still can add whatever you want, payroll. Uh, let's say you're paying five thousand dollars a month uh, let's say payroll taxes remember that you can add that too let's say um, uh, let's, let's say one thousand dollar 
So yeah, you can add all this and uh, your net profit's always going to show your net profit. Um, this is really important. So anytime you want to, you can even go back. I know if you've, you've never done that before. We didn't have this feature before. But at least do it for uh, starting from December. I mean, the, the year before, I'm sure you already filed for taxes. You can print that or email it to your uh, accountant um, uh, each month, which is really cool. At the end of the year, definitely we're going to make a bond where it will add everything together and uh, and it will give you the total of rent all the all year long and that way you can see what makes and doesn't make a difference literally i said i've always talked about how when i owned the shop the first two years i wasn't making any money and the reason um i wasn't paying attention to my expenses once i once i came in here and i saw five thousand i was like man how can i make this at least four thousand that's almost six grand and I did it. I did it. I literally, I went and negotiated with my uh, leasing guy and, and he brought the price down. Then I just got rid of a lot of bills, man. I used to have so many extra bills. I got rid of them. I paid off Snap-on. That once you get in control, man, you know, with Snap-on, I love Snap-on. I love their tools. But man, they're like an expense that never going to be going away. And that's, that's something you got to control. Uh, anything that is not necessary um uh, you gotta get rid of so um so let's check it out let's go back so obviously of course it saves if you go back to balance sheet let's go back to december it's already right here what about if i want to do uh november let's check it out let's see if we have november or we'll pick up all right let's do august so click on auto populate and look at this look how fast i can do my expenses now just as simple as that and right just like that so this is this is really cool I mean I'm sure it's gonna take you a little bit more but I promise you this takes an hour usually to keep track of your expenses now it's gonna take you probably if you have your number ready it will take you less than a minute uh, if you don't have your number ready it will take you probably five minutes max uh, to keep to keep uh, to keep up with your expenses and that way this is the the real number right down the net the real net profit after you add every expense make sure you add every expense even the food just add if you're buying food whatever money is coming out of the bank account uh, needs to be added here so uh, whatever expenses you got to be at whether it's monthly um, uh, we, we said here those are monthly expenses if you have one expense you can always add it so it doesn't matter so it's it is unlimited let's say I said um, other um, <clears throat> let's say 195 click on add so it doesn't matter it's always gonna be here let's go back so so this is this is uh, I think this is gonna be fantastic I'm gonna be using it for my own company this is the best thing because I, I was thinking of me and I was thinking of you as I'm doing this I want something that um, keep track of the expenses uh, so simple uh, not limited to any word um, uh, you can add any description you want and it's, I, I think it's one of the best. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, remember, I could, I could have made it uh, with a fancy word. We're talking assets and liabilities and all that accounting word. Let that, let that accountant uh, deal with that. Let's just stick with simplicity, net sales, expenses, and net profit. Uh, those words are, there are, those are common words. Everybody understand them. But now we're talking, we're talking about assets and liabilities. Uh, it gets really confusing uh, but that's that's what the accountant is good for because when you're filing for taxes uh, those words you'll be seeing those words from the he's probably that when with when it says a gas bill and electric bill they go under utilities but for you personally you do need to see the electric bill was 195 so you can keep track what if somebody is overcharging you now you can keep track making sure how much you're paying electric bill how much you're paying your cable bill and all that stuff anyway i appreciate you guys until next time uh, thanks for watching